tonight I want to talk about management, um, but uh, it's an economics talk. And that's kind of unusual because economists typically have not paid a lot of attention to management. Does bad management matter for development? And then the question of why are so many Indian companies apparently badly managed and what might be done about it? I'll tell you how we got it, but we ended up with 28 plants owned by 17 large firms uh, that make cotton fabric in the Mumbai area. So these are weaving companies. Um, and we hired international management consultants to go in and give them uh, some management consulting. Well, first of all, our intervention raised total factor productivity by about 10% and profits by a number somewhere between 17% and 130. Um, as a result of the changes, owners decentralized decisions more to plant managers. These are all um, company, family-owned firms. And computer use increased substantially. Um, so that's the impact of better management. So we're talking about big companies. Let me make that clear. Um, you can see they're... Uh, they're two and three story buildings. And they operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, just about. These plants were unmitigated messes. They're worse than my office. Um, um, the plant floors were a mess, too. Uh, inventory was uh, unbelievable. Uh, spare parts, same story stuff just lying around, they don't know what they've got, where it is. So it used to be that because of the poor quality, they were spending 20% of their wage bill on uh, repairs, trying to repair uh, flaws in the cloth or cut it, clean it up or cut it out or whatever. And they still had a lot of bad cloth that could only be sold for very low prices. Um, they used to, to, this is how they used to keep defects logs. All you can see is that they're handwritten and disorganized. Well, now it's all standardized. They're nice spreadsheets. It's entered into computers. It can be analyzed by loom, by shift, by design, by weaver. Um, it's now co collated and analyzed in, in daily meetings. Um, and here, I've got regressions, but I think this tells the story better than anything. And the red line is the control plants, the ones that didn't get the, that didn't take, uh, get the heavy consulting and on average didn't take up as many of the management practices. The black line is the quality index in the treatment plants. And it improves a lot. It goes from 100 and uh, about 100 in, at the takeover, at the start of the period, <coughs> it's down to 40. Inventory, same story. We've got them now. The, they keep track of their inventory. It's in waterproof uh, bags. It's tagged. Um, and they've, as a result, oh, and they have, when they've got leftover inventory, they, they put uh, the yarn on a piece of, little piece of paper and send it to the design people so they know what they could design that would use the existing stock rather than having to buy new stock. We brought in some basic... Uh, very simple things like uh, if there's something wrong with your machine, put a tag on it so that the repair people know to do something about it rather than just going home for the night and leaving it. Um, they sorted out all their parts and spares and whatnot. Uh, instead of the, the rough handwritten loose pieces of paper that uh, they now, it's all standardized. No, no fun at all and again, three stars. So productivity increased about 10%. And we would expect much larger long-run impact because there's been basically no change in their business mix, no change in their capital stock. And it's usually the case that the owner is making all the important decisions, any decision with any financial impact, um, because they don't trust outsiders. And what's more, um, they haven't got the information to know if they're being cheated. Remember, they weren't collecting this data, so they didn't really know if they were being cheated. So 
Uh, that means that, that uh, they, they tend to make all the decisions themselves, the top management. Um, when management improves, as it has here, you can figure out better if you're being cheated, so you should see more decentralization. So what we found was decentralization did increase. The right-hand dots are all treatment firms. The left-hand dots are almost all control firms. So if you can increase your profits by something between 16% and, and 130%, and it's doing things as cheap as what we were talking about, okay? This, this wasn't, there was minimal investment required for any of these changes. Why on earth didn't it happen long ago? The answer is largely they didn't know. They weren't aware of the practice. They'd never heard of keeping track of, of, and of uh, downtime and figuring out why it was occurring. Another 30% came from basically the, the managers had heard about it, but they didn't, they miscalculated how effective it would be in their firms. But why didn't competition drive these shoddy companies out of business? And part of it is that bankruptcy isn't a threat, that Weaver wages of $5 a day, these firms can make money, and they do make money. Owner's time is constrained and they can't do, they can't make enough decisions and collect enough information to run many plants so they can't grow. Firm size is more linked to the number of male family members, the correlation of 0.69, than, who are trusted to be given managerial position than it is to the management quality which only has a correlation of 0.22. It takes about 13 million in assets to get into this business and there's no guarantee that you're going to be any better than anybody else. Firms in developing countries often have very poor management, which lowers their productivity. Lack of information and limited CEO ability and some element of procrastination are part of it. Uh, what conclusions do we draw? Well, not that India should hire six times 10 million uh, Accenture consultants and send them into all the different factories. I don't think that'll work. Um, and it's a little expensive. I think um, encouraging uh, product market competition, encouraging foreign multinationals who are typically well managed would help. Uh, it wouldn't do much in textiles, but it would in some other industries. Improving the look rule of law so people can trust managers, uh, outside managers, uh, which will allow reallocation, and improve basic training around management skills. Um, not MBAs. I don't think MBAs know about this stuff. Uh, I don't think, well, maybe they get it in their operations classes, but but it's it's so trivial that that uh, they uh, probably, they and their professors would disdain it, but it can make, could make a huge difference.